We're standing here on the Oregon coast of the Pacific Ocean, directly this way, several thousand miles, is China, next stop. Now the reason I'm even taking this time to film this here is this is about as close as I'll probably ever get to that place, but the, one of the reasons why is because it's starting in 1934, they started banning guns. The Nationalist Party of China decided that there should be no guns in the hands of citizens. In 1934, they banned guns, but in 1935, they made it absolutely legal with punishable by imprisonment. The reason I'm making this video is it's very important to note that those who don't remember history are bound to repeat it. In July of 1931, the Japanese invasion of the mainland Asia began. And as they made their way to China, 1937, when the Japanese invaded Nanking, there was over 200,000 troops and 300,000 Chinese troops fled, dropped their weapons and fled. And the citizens who had been disarmed just a few years prior were left totally defenseless. When the Japanese got there, they absolutely mutilated those people. They mutilated the defenseless, they mutilated women and children, old people. And by the end of the first month in Nanking, there was over 225,000 dead for just the joy of killing. It's an important note to not allow disarmament to take place in your country. Because even if you rely on your own country defending you, if there are foreign invaders, who's going to defend you then? Who's going to defend you against them? During the Japanese invasion of China, there was an estimated 3 to 10 million lives lost. Now those weren't soldiers, those were just citizens that were just simply killed and mutilated. This didn't stop. After World War II, when the Communist Party took over, this type of killing continued, even by their own government. From the disarmament in 1935 up until the 1980s, there's an upwards of 100 million Chinese people, citizens, killed. Now again, I bring this up because as you look at this vast ocean, it's hard to just believe that on the other side of it is China. So easily this sort of thing can happen. It's very important that we make note and we always remember, if you have firearms and you're allowed to have them, never, never let the government take those from you. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. You can also now find us at GodFamilyAndGuns.org and GodFamilyAndGuns at Facebook. But by far, the most important part of this YouTube channel is it's a ministry to us and we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.